Hello friends, today I'm making veg biryani. You can see the ingredients in the notes. Um, uh, for 200 grams rice, I have used uh, three big tablespoon regular oil. You can use desi ghee or butter, whatever you like. And I have uh, put some jeera and fennel seeds, uh, cumin and fennel seeds uh, as per your taste. And I like to burn it so that I get that taste in the biryani. And now I'm putting in the diced onion. And uh, I'll try to brown it itself and stay it in the gravy. Uh, won't just separate it. This is kind of one pot meal that I'm trying. Whatever will go in would stay in the entire dish. I'm not separating it so that all the flavors are here. Now I'll try to brine it. Put some salt and a bit of uh, turmeric to get it fast. And the onions are adequately browned, it will provide the necessary sweetness to the dish as well. And I have put a bit of cayenne pepper, that is red chili or Kashmiri chili. And now put the diced tomatoes. I am kind of making a gravy, kind of yakni, so that uh, those flavors that I developed by roasting or bhunoying the entire masala, that will go into each rice particle and uh, you will get a good flavor in the biryani. Uh, now, uh, once the tomatoes are done, I am putting in the homemade garam masala. You can make your own or you can buy it from the market. I like my homemade because the constituents I like more dominant. I put it accordingly. The ratios I put accordingly. Uh, put extra green cardamom for extra fragrance. And now I will start putting the vegetables. These are the diced carrots. Stick take maximum time to cook, uh, put it earlier. This is vegetable biryani. Whatever is in season, you can use most of them according to proportions. Whatever you like most and uh, kind of try to not cook it throughout because you need a bit of bite on it. So it should be cooked but not too much. I have beans as well. So whatever you have, you can put it here and then the rice needs to go here. The rice here and uh, it is a long grain rice so uh, according to the biryani you can use cellar rice or any other rice that you find good with the biryani. Uh, it shouldn't uh, fall apart as well as neither it should get uh, too soggy so you need that kind of rice maybe pusa variety uh, 11 21 should be the best. Uh, once the rice is done around for next three minutes at 50% cooks, I'll add the green beans so to keep the color, and the entire thing would just be cooked in like 10 now minutes from now. Once it's around 65% done, I'll just add in my uh, diced beans and uh, some beetroot and diced green chili. You can top it up with uh, mint leaves and. Maybe if you want to make it non veg then you can put in some boiled uh, 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 eggs as well in it. So now the biryani is done and you can see how the grains have come up. I'll just uh, garnish it with some roasted sesame seed. and. Uh, You can just uh, enjoy it with any raita or uh, burani raita or any, any any chutney that you have and this should do the job. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Thank you.